Hey, where's Eric at? He should be here. I'm not sure where he is. Somewhere. I'm busy having a great time. Now that I'm done enjoying the new castle room, which comes with the full armor of God, which is pretty awesome to play with, I'm ready to do devotions with you. These are your Holy Week devotions, day one. We're going to start off reading in John, the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 18. Uh, listen with me as I read. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only to give witness to it. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own didn't receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not out of natural descent, nor of human decision, or of Father's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him, and he cried out, saying, This is the one I have spoke about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace already given. For the law was given through Moses, Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God but the only Son, who is himself God and is in closest relationship to the Father who has made him known. A number of years ago, I remember attending the funeral of a lovely young woman, and I was struck by the eulogy given by her best friend. It was a vivid picture of the extraordinary girl that she was. And it was also honest. It didn't saint her unrealistically. It just told the wonderful person she was. So how about you? How would your best friend describe you? My guess is that it would probably be a summary of your best attributes and a few of your more adorable flaws that they would include. Yeah. <laughs> John, the writer of the passage that we just read, was Jesus' closest companion on earth. He referred to himself as the disciple Jesus loved. And when Jesus was on the cross, he put his mother into the care of John because he knew that he would no longer be able to take care of her. During his time on earth, John was Jesus' best friend. So how did John describe Jesus? He said he was God. John begins his account of his time with Jesus by making it clear that Jesus was from the beginning of time. Jesus was with God in the beginning because Jesus was God. As we approach Easter, let us not forget that the Son of God was fully God himself. He stepped down from his heavenly throne so that he could save you and me. Thank you for joining us today for day one of our devotions on Holy Week. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we go again into the Word of God as a family of God. Grace and peace, friends.